name is Sub and Serious and welcome back to some more Hello Neighbor Alpha 4. So in the last video we found the golden apple uh, and we went to and saw the cutscene that happened in the secret area. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description below. But anyways, this one, we're gonna use the trainer to get up on top of the windmill to see what is up there. So with the help of the trainer, uh, we can actually fly. All right, here we go. I'm I'm super pumped. Uh, in the yeah, in our live stream, we stacked so many boxes up, and then we jumped and used the umbrella to get across there. If you haven't seen what's across here, there's kind of nothing. There was a chair that's up here, and then there's like what looks to be a number under here, but you can't get to it. So, anyways, time to go up here, which is what I was really really anticipating. Um, so I can't wait to actually see what's up here now. Uh, okay. Nothing on this platform, it seems. Gotta check all, because we, you know, in the cutscene, the neighbor was up here, so you never know why, why he was up here. Oh, yeah, it, he's right there, actually. Neighbor, what are you, what are you doing, Nabes? Nabes, uh, we're gonna walk. Hey, neighbor. You okay? Or, or nah? Um, I'm just gonna... Cheese! Okay, you stay there. So yeah, he's definitely there, but why? Why is the neighbor there? It almost seems like you can't even get in there. But, I mean, well, we can because we can fly. I believe I can fly. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh wait, we need ghosts. Here we go. And there is nothing. <gasps> That's absolutely crazy. There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> What? Seriously? Um, uh, that's weird. Maybe it's just like, you know what? Remember in the last video how the neighbor was like that, but he was down underneath the map? Because you had to do a mini game to activate it? I bet there's something to do with this mini game. Or there's there's another like mini game or puzzle you have to do, and then it will activate a cutscene up here. That's what I'm willing to bet. The thing is, is how do we find that? Because I don't actually know it right now. Um. I'm trying to think what it could be. So the last thing, we had to bring the golden apple to that thing down there. Now I wonder if... Oh, the, uh... The... The binary code thing. Or the buttons. That's a... That, there's so much... There's still so much that we don't know. So, like, I'm trying to figure out what I could... See, like, okay, I'll show you what I mean. There's these cubes thing. These weird, like, random cubes. There's two yellow ones there. Uh, let me go fly down here to the car. And then there's also that crow with the weird like the <laughs> the crow the crow and it's lost and found box. Okay. Um yeah, so we, there was that two yellow cubes hidden there. Then at the at the start we noticed there was three uh green cubes in here. Uh there's one white cube outside the map, uh the one where you teleport in that binary code room, the second binary code room. And then um where's the uh the red cubes are the red cubes are I think right right up here. There, yeah, the red cubes are here. Yeah, so five red cubes. So I've been streaming it, and we've been trying to figure out what to do with that. T uh, two yellow, five red, two, three green, and one white. The one white is back here. I mean, I can show you this. I can just increase the speed so that it doesn't take as long to get all the way over here. But um, yeah, so the one white cube is here. You go in a room that teleports you, and then it takes you, for some reason, it teleports you out here. So, I, I, like, I haven't figured out, none of us has figured out why it would teleport you outside the map here at the one white cube. But I feel like that is something. Actually, to be honest, I know it's something because Tiny Bill, the publishers, uh, I've been DMing them throughout this whole thing. And uh, they, they said, like, oh, good find about the binary room, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so yeah, the binary code, you would go through here, through this window, through this little, you crouch, go through that little cubby hole, and then you go through this one. Uh, let me turn off uh, flying, and then you just go through here. So there's this binary code room right here with all of the boxes, if if I can get unstuck, with all of the boxes. So Tiny Bill did say, good find, now you gotta figure out what it means, wakey phase. So, I, I, we're not sure what it means yet, I mean, someone might know out there, but as of now, uh, as of recording this right now, I don't know what it means. So, uh, it's the weird thing is that the boxes, but now that we can actually ghost here, Let's, uh, let's do that. And, uh, maybe, like... Where, where are we? Wait, wait a second. What? Whoa! We're way outside the map. Look at this. Whoa, okay. So that's different. 
So there may be things way this far outside the map, honestly. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Oh, man. Look how far we are. I mean, we're almost at, like, at the city. Which, I mean, I guess we could explore the city. All right, I'll turn the, I'll turn the speed up so we can maneuver fast because it's going to take us a while. Uh, there we go. Let's go check out the city then. Yeah, like, how would you even see that? Well, you wouldn't. That's the thing. You definitely would not see that. Anyways, here we are at the city. Just a city boy. Born and raised in South Detroit. I don't know where this actually takes place. Neighborville? Wow, these skyscrapers are really paper thin. <laughs> Look how, how far can we go? We'll, we'll keep going. It's so foggy back here. I can't see anything. Look how far away we are from the... Yep, goodbye world. Goodbye. So now I wonder if there's even more things. I'll probably live stream this again. Um, and then that way we can do the more tedious tasks on a live stream. The ones that take longer. It's like there's a whole new map somewhere. Could you imagine? All right. Uh, let's go. <laughs> now it's time for me to trek my way. I'm, I'm like sweating right now. It's so hot. Now it's time for me to trek my way back. Oh, we went up higher and we can actually like see clearly. What is that? What is that? What, what is that? What is that? Just random shapes, I guess. Just random shadows of of something, of some sorts. There's the cube with the little room with the binary code. Huh, okay. Run, you can do it. It's, de it's dead silent out here. Okay, so I just stumbled upon something cool. I don't know why I was clapping every time I was saying a freaking word or phrase. Anyways, so I actually saw, someone did tweet me saying, hey, I found this in the woods. And I, I couldn't, you know, I didn't see it. And I thought maybe it was, there was, I was like, maybe they just, this was fake. Apparently not. So let me, um, let me just drop, my voice is like gone. I've been streaming so much lately. Uh, so let me just drop down on the ground, turn the speed back down to, uh, zero or well, regular speed. Uh, and then look at this. Look at this. This is weird. See, I was looking at this house. This is, I was looking at that one. I'll go show that in a second, but I noticed this in the distance. So the person that sent me the photo on Twitter, I forget your name right now. They were actually right. Look, there's this weird thing from the ending here as well. What is this? What is this man? I mean, I know what it is. It's in the ending. But why is it over here? Out of all places. Like, in the daylight? Just in the backyard? Amongst these little bit of trees? I don't know. This is weird. This, this is definitely weird. Look at it. Yeah, remember, it was that little thing that was always in the doorway at the ending. Um, anyways, so let's actually go back over here to the house I was actually just telling you about because how I even stumbled upon that is like I said I saw a tweet, but I, it didn't really show much of it It was just like it, all it all I saw was that thing outside. I'm like, well, that could be fake But uh, I was looking at this house Because this is weird too. how this house has a shopping cart and like actual items mind you can't interact with any of them a, a car well, you know what a seat, you know, you know what? Let, let's actually uh Let's do this. Let's let's go in. Is that a welcome mat? Okay. It's a weird chimney. Seems like. Okay, nothing. Unless there's something in the chimney. Nope. Um. Yeah, it's just weird. This house has like actual like stuff here, which I don't know it makes you wonder why. But you can't pick up anything. So. Hmm. And what about in the garage? Nothing. All right. Because most houses don't have anything. You know what I mean? They just are, like, empty. Maybe that. Maybe that's going to be a house that will might be used uh, in a, you know, in an update or the full game. Or maybe that's where that thing lives. I don't know. Post your comments. Uh, post comments of your uh, theories or what you think. Like, I really want to know. What do you think? Why do you think that thing is out there? And is, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, man, my... My, my voice is like God. I really appreciate the support. Welcome to all the newcomers. Uh, it means a lot. So I'm glad you hit that subscribe button. It's cool to have you here. Uh, I might be live streaming later today. If not today, I'll do it tomorrow. Man, so we have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.